everybody. Today I wanted to do a unboxing of a heater. I always get asked exactly what heater I use in my rabbit barn to keep my rabbits warm for the winter. I did a lot of research and they said that infrared heating your rabbits or any type of animal is the best type of heat. So I bought a infrared life smart heater and I wanted to um, unbox it for it with you. And the reason why I wanted to unbox this with you guys is because I like this um, type of heater. I had the same heater in my rabbit barn right now and I've had it in there for about three years and I have never had an issue with it and so I bought another one so I could place it on the bigger side of my rabbit barn so therefore I have the smaller side and the bigger side just so when it does get really really um, low in temperatures coming up here that I'll have it ready to go. Now what I do with my rabbit barn too is I usually keep it on eco. They have an eco setting on the one that um, I have in my rabbit barn and they say they have the same setting on this one. So I will um, show you all of that. But I keep it at 68 degrees, the eco, and it seems to do just fine and the electric bill isn't too sky high for it. So I kind of like it because it's on eco. So I'm going to unbox it with you to show you exactly what's in it, what it comes in it, and what it looks like. And I'm going to stand this on the ground for one second right, here. So let's do this. So it comes with your guide. And then it also comes with a remote, which I don't use. So the remote just stays in here with it because I just go out there and turn it on. And it stays on um, all day, every day. And I've used it, like I said, for three to four years. And I've never had any issues with it. So um, I will put the um, where I got it from and things like that too in the description down below. But I did get this one at Menards. It was about $100. I want to let you know a little bit more about this heater. It is an infrared heating system. So it's like going outside in the sun without the UV lights. And so it's a little bit better for your animals and a little bit better for yourself. And I did some research before I even got this. And they said that infrared heating is one of the things that they use in barns and stables for animals. So that's why I decided to go with the UV infrared light. And they said it doesn't dry out the air. So it doesn't get your animals dry. Because that's also an issue too is sometimes you can have um, heat and then it will dry the air and therefore your rabbits will get dehydrated more and things like that. So um, that's the reason why I chose the infrared heater. And I'm going to read this off the box because I would never be able to remember this. But it says three heating uh, settings. You get a 1000 watt to 1500 watt. And an eco maintenance, it stays at a constant 68 degrees. That's what I use is the 68 degrees. Three infrared quartz elements. It says overheat and tip over safety shut off. So if you tip it over, it shuts off, which that is good, especially in a barn or anywhere at that matter. It is cool to the touch. So I have this on completely all the time, 24 seven in the winter. And I'm always touching it and it doesn't get hot at all. The only thing that I see that really gets hot is this, obviously, because it's right next to the heat. But if I can go like this, even down here, it doesn't have any issues. I never have any problems. So that's awesome that it is um, cool to the touch on the outer edge. Just don't touch this, obviously. It has extra large LED display right here. The only thing that I seen with mine when I had it is in the second year, I think it was, 
my LED light that says high, medium, and low and things like that, that um, burnt out and I cannot have that anymore. But when you put eco or you put something like that, it will show, but it just won't show you um, if it is in the high or low or any of that. So I ha kind of have to be very careful on how I do that. And I didn't really like that situation, but having it for two years, you know, and, and running it uh, all through the winter, 24 7 through the winter I think that it took a beating and I think it stood up for what we were doing um, it also has 12 hour programmable timer which we've done that in the spring that um, if it gets really cold in the winter or in the spring in the nighttime it's colder and during the day it's not so cold I used a programmer and I program it at a certain time and it will shut off or turn on so I liked that situation um, you have the remote control and the remote control is like this remote control with LED indicator you get you have to use AAA triple A's and it does not come with it but this is what the what it looks like hopefully you can see it I will take another picture of that too so you can see that uh, lifetime washable filter which I do have to say, I absolutely love the filter in this thing. And I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna show you. Because in a rabbit barn, or even in a house, but more so in a rabbit barn, you get all the buildup from the hay and all the hair because your rabbits molt and they do different things like that. And I noticed that right here, it was cram packed with different kind of hair from each rabbit. And when you do breed, sometimes the rabbits um, do get more hair because they're pulling hair and it's going everywhere. So it tends to be right here. But we, every um, couple days, even I've done it once a week, I've, you know, and there's times where I went on vacation for a couple weeks and I came home and it was fine. I just like to have it, um, you know, cleaned because then obviously you're not getting all that garbage in there. But not only that, you're saving your machine from going haywire quickly so if you take care of your machine it works awesome so you take this right here and it has the the um, screws right here and then you take it out and it's right there it is amazing you can wash it I've put soap and water on it and I've washed it and put it in there it I love it it also has the off and on right here so you can have it on or off that works amazing I also like that it has something that you can hold on down here to when holding it so you're not you know so you're like this instead of like this because sometimes that can be hard so then when you're carrying it it's just an easy carry which I like that tremendously about it all right so I'm going to show you exactly what I do but you turn it on and it does tell you kind of where it's at this here is for eco if you want eco timer you have a timer so you go one two three four hours whatever hours this one goes up to 12 yeah 12 hours then you have your up and down what you want your your temp to be at so you can go up or down this is where you can put the t you push this and it will tell you the temp in your house so therefore you can go out and push it and you're like oh my barn is blah 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 um, I have a little thing in my house, a little thermometer in my house that I keep inside so I can keep a constant look at what the temperature is in my rabbit barn so I never use that unless I'm outside and I'll just, when I'm cleaning or whatever, I'll just come in and push that and go, oh, okay, it's 73 in here. So I need to either bump it up or bump it down wherever I feel that needs to be done. Usually if I have babies, I always have it a little bit up. If I don't have babies through that time, then I bump it down because obviously the mamas and daddies can handle it. So just enough so it doesn't um, make my rabbits too cold, but then also doesn't heat it so much because I don't want that much heat just in case um, they ever do have an issue out there. I don't want it to go to really warm to really, really cold. That would be very bad and your rabbits would probably not uh, handle that too well. So I want to make sure that I kind of keep it at an even level. I usually keep it around 50. When I do do this, I put it at 68. Mind you, 68 is here. It sometimes don't keep the barn at 68, 
because of the fact that, you know, if you have drafts or whatever you have. So usually if I put it at 68 on the eco, sometimes it depends on how cold it is outside, it's a couple degrees lower than this. So there are times where I have it on here, but then when I look at my barn, it says 50 degrees. So it just depends on kind of where it's scaping. Now this year, I put a bunch of um, stuff in there, so therefore it stays warmer, so hopefully I won't have to use the second one, but I got it just in case, and it is worth the $100 totally. See, and if you look right here, this is where it comes out the heat. Oh, it's amazing, I love heat. Um, this is where it comes out. Again, you have your, right here, if you're gonna shut it off, then you have this that will tell you exactly where it's going to be for um, your temperature. Then you have your up or down, you have your time, you have your, um, if you want this to stay at a certain time, you can press that. If you want it to, um, you know, do all the different things there, like keep it at a set, uh, temperature at a setting. So you want to be like, okay, I want it 71. I'm going to, I'm going to make this right here where it is, um, locked. So it locks in at that time. That's what that's for. Um, yeah. So here it is. I will take another um, video of it closer. And then if you want, the hard shut off is right there. So I do do that a lot in the rabbit barn too. I do have it shut off here, but I also come in the back and I shut it off in the back because then I know for a fact it's off. There's no problems. And then usually I also will unplug it just so I know that there's no um, issues or no starting fires or anything like that. I'm just... I guess I'm a little bit um, making sure everything is okay in that situation. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I will put the description down below. If you have any questions about it, um, make sure you leave the in the comments section exactly what it is and I will try to my best ability to help you out. Like I said, I've had this for a long time, so I know quite a bit about it. I do know that in my other one that I have, this one, this is new. This lock button is new. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, so I just wanted to let you know. It also has a one year warranty and you don't have to assemble. Everything comes like this, so you don't have to assemble it. It's an office cubicle. It goes up to 250 square feet. It's a small room up to 500 square feet, medium room up to 800 square feet, large room up to 1,000 square feet, and an extra large room up to 1,000 square feet. So the most that you're gonna get out of this is 1,000 uh, square foot. So, and um, like I said, I've used it in my rabbit burn and I see amazing stuff. So, oh, okay, okay, I was reading this. This is, this is a child lock. So it's not if you want it 72, degrees and you want to keep it there. This is a child lock. So that way you push whatever and then you push child lock and they can't move this. Okay. Th that see that's like I said that's different in mine because mine um that I got a few years back, th I think it was 3 or 4 years ago, it didn't have that child lock. So that is new. So you have the child lock, the heat mode, the timer on and off, the temperature up and down and the abundant heat, what you want it in, and the power on and off switch. And then you have the power on and off switch here. And I also wanted to let you know that it is, like I said, an infrared heater, but it has three elements. And that's what I liked about it too, is the three elements. And then it has the three settings. Um, you have the eco, the, the uh, high, and the low. But the reason why they say three elements is right there, the three elements. And I don't, I think mine in the garage has the ones that are twirled. So it's a little bit different, but it's the same thing, same uh, company. It's Life Smart is the company that I got. Um, it looks exactly the same in everything. Everything looks exactly the same that I have. And that's the one I used um, the last time that I got. It was Life Smart. The only thing that they changed is this. And then down below here, it looks like it's not coiled. It's just a straight shot and I'll get a, a better picture of that here shortly. Um, and then the remote control, I'll also get a picture of that and 
or film it one or the other and so you guys can get to know that too like I said I'm not sponsored um, with this at all but I do stand behind it and I try to um, show you exactly what I get when I get things that I like so that's another thing that I absolutely love and I'll also be doing um, some more um, things on when I buy stuff for the rabbit barn what I like and what I don't like and I'm going to also do another video on um, the different things that I've been using now that I have been using them and showing you exactly what I think about them so I'll be doing that shortly so keep your eye out for that and I will so you have the heat thing here that will turn it off and on so it will be like that and then you turn it on you'll make the beeping sound so this is what it looks like and it's the cabinet so you have this here and it, heat is coming from here too and then you have the heat here so you have the three coils and then you have the it says that I got it on 82 Let's see if I can get the camera to focus better there you go so it says that it's 74 in here you can have the up or down then you have the time that it gives you for um, how many hours you want and it tells you here that you can have it on low equal high so you have high low and equal e eco and then you have the child block so that's really cool that you have the child block I was seeing if it does anything so you'll have to look and see how to do the, the child block I think you just push it down and then you have the off so when you do shut it off it does still kind of go if you can hear it it still goes for a little bit just to get the fan so it cools off so it doesn't ruin your system.